including what's going on with Stu Grayson, Dave. What is going on with Stu Grayson? I don't know. He's uh, vanished I mean, from he was, the roster page. He was removed from the roster page, and the story that I'm getting is that his contract expired, which is the same as Marco Stunt, Joey Janela, and um, Jack Evans, whose names were removed from the roster page because their contracts expired. Um, and uh, the only word kind of going around was that they failed to come to terms to a new agreement. Uh, that was, I don't know if that means that they're still talking or it was one of the, you know, the decisions made not to renew, uh, him, which, I mean, I can see it in the sense that they have so many guys on the roster and he's been there for three years and, um, you know, there's just so many guys, but on the flip side, like Joey Janelle wanted out. Uh, Marco Stunt just kind of wasn't used anymore. And um, Jack's, you know, Jack Evans is good. But um, I mean, I the thing with Stu Grayson is, is that like I thought like in the ring, the guy's great. You know, I mean, it's not like he's a guy that people talk about. Like he was like the best wrestler in the business. Like no one's going to bring up his name. But he's one of those guys like when he was put in those matches I mean, he was great. His timing was great. His moves were great. Um, but he wasn't a guy who got over great. Um, but as a technical wrestler, I thought he was really, really good. Oscar reports that uh, Roderick Strong has uh, requested his release on a few occasions and uh, was told no. And so he's sticking around, I guess, for the time being. No, he's going to have no choice. I mean, I guess, you know, I mean, you can quit, but then they can freeze your deal. So that doesn't really do you any good. He's got, a, he's got like a couple of years left on his deal because he just signed like last year um, before everything changed. Um, so, yeah, you know, I mean, his, his wife's in AEW, his friends are in AEW. If you look at the, you know, from his, if you look at things from his perspective, things would look much brighter in AEW for him than than NXT. I mean, if he was going to go to the main roster, he'd be in the main roster by now. And, um, you know, in NXT, he's... I mean, he's still on television. Um, and with Malcolm Bivens being cut, there's that role for him now, as long as they want a diamond mine group. Um, Bivens was the talker. Now, Roderick would probably be the talker of the group, the coach, whatever. Um, so there's a spot for him. But in the long run, um, you know, at, at uh, you know, with his size and, um, you know, I mean, the age and all the other things of what, they're, what, they're, what they want that show to be, um, long run, he doesn't really fit. But they're not giving people, I mean, they give, you know, they, they do give some people releases when they want and they don't give others, and you know it probably depends on a variety of different things. One of which is is that right now they probably have something for him, but um, yeah, you know, long term prospects as far as and the, you know he doesn't really fit in what WWE is doing anymore, um, especially on the NXT brand. But um, you know, and you know, I mean, I, there's not really much he can do, you know, um, and. Maybe they'll do something with him. I mean, they, they put Mustafa Ali back on television after they had iced him for a long time. Um, Roderick isn't being iced or anything, but I just don't see I don't see what, what they're going to do with him. I mean, he's not going to be in um, he's not going to be in any title pictures, I don't think. Um, he's not going to be a focused on guy or anything like that. He's He does have a spot right now. Um, so I can see why he would want out and, uh, you know, I mean, it's just one of those things. I mean, when you, uh, you know, the contracts are very, you know, it's, that's the nature of the contracts. I mean, the contracts aren't fair in the sense that they can cut you whenever they want essentially, and you can't leave whenever you want, but that's the nature of and that, that. You know, again, all wrestling contracts are like that. It's not just, uh, WWE, um, and, you know, most or many, many entertainment contracts are like that. They are one-sided. So 
that's the situation with uh, Roderick Strong. And, uh, you know, it's it's from his perspective, like I would I would think from, you know, it wouldn't be a surprise. You read that you can see the handwriting on the wall, you know, um, and it would be much better for him. You know, I mean, everyone's different. Not everyone should leave. But he's he, you know, I don't know how big he'd be in AEW right now. Um, but he'd be in the, you know, the one thing that he's got is that, that, that he's got that group that's going to be pushed with Adam Cole and Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. And if he did go there, they would probably reform the group. And that would, you know, um, that would give him, you know, a, a place and, and, uh, you know, a, you know, a spot that would, uh, uh, be a good spot. So he'd be better off, but, you know, I mean, he, when he signed, he didn't know that uh, Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly were leaving and uh, that NXT was going to change, and there you go. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them, the 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.